Today we are going to be talking about the top 5 free to play games on Steam. Keep in mind that I am going to try and keep this list somewhat updated with games that came out in maybe the last 3 or 4 years and are still being updated. At number 5 we have Trove. If you're looking for the type of game that's an MMO that you can just get a whole bunch of friends together, go on an awesome party and go dungeon dwelling, Trove is definitely the one for you. I have about 34 hours in this game and I can definitely recommend it to people who are looking for a free MMO that is definitely the best free MMO on Steam. With its Q world kind of Minecraft graphics, it's also definitely easy to run. So if you're on your grandma's laptop, it's definitely no problem. So if you're looking for a free, easy to run game, then uh, look no farther than Trove because it's definitely one that's going to pack many hours. At number four, we have Unturned. Now Unturned is a zombie survival free to play game with many, many supporting servers and upcoming updates. It's a very good game to look forward towards the future because it is not fully released, it is still in a beta, but it's definitely a game to look out for because it's still getting constant appreciation from the makers and it just has so many servers and so many Steam integration things like the community market and workshop, it's going to definitely have a good place in the future. It might not be the type of game where you'll play for about three or four hundred hours constantly, just not being able to put the freaking mouse and keyboard down. But it is definitely something that you can stop by every once in a while and just have a good time fighting zombies with your friends. Number three on the list is going to go ahead and have to be given to Warframe. Now, Warframe is a completely 100% different game than what it was like when it was released. When it was released, it didn't really show much care and it was just looking at like a completely different perspective of what a free to play game was. They've added a whole bunch of things since it's released a long time ago, such as now you're able to customize your own ship, you're able to invite people to that ship, and just a whole bunch of stuff that was definitely not in the game, and definitely you wouldn't think it would fit in the game whatsoever. But, you know, Warframe is being updated constantly, and it's a very supported game, and of course it's free, its graphics are just very, very beautiful, but that does come at the cost that it's kind of hard to run, so if you're playing on your grandma's laptop, sorry. But Warframe is definitely going to stay at number 3 for me. At number 2 we have Team Fortress 2, another very easy to run game, except it doesn't go really voxel blocky or any of the other types of looking games that we had on this list. So the thing with Team Fortress is that it's a shooter, it's built on shooting, it's just what it does, and it's probably the best free to play shooter out there anywhere. Team Fortress brings a lot to the table that a lot of other free to play shooters cannot such as being supported by such a well company such as Valve that updates their games and keep them keeps them perfect. On top of that they've just been absolutely crushing the free to play market when it comes to shooters that it's kind of insane that you can't even believe that the game has been out for literally 8 years yet it's just destroying the market. This just comes back to the idea but the complete idea behind the game is just absolutely amazing. The gameplay is fun, and this is definitely the type of game where once you get into it, you're probably going to have at least 300, 500, 1,000 hours into this game. It's very addictive and very fun. Number one on my list, I don't know how you didn't see this coming, but it's it's got to be Dota 2, guys. It, it just has to. Dota 2 is the only free-to-play game on Steam that has become the number one esport in the world. Does that make sense to you? A free to play game is the number one esport in the world. Now I know what you're thinking, oh it's an esport, what was that to do with it being a good There has to be tons and tons of supporters, people who are addicted, people who have more than 2,000 hours to be able to have this type of thing, to be able to have it as the number one esport. The most important thing that you should know before you're getting into this game is that it has an amazing, it's just the hugest learning curve. I wouldn't say it's as bad as CSGO as where you have to learn to break controls and a ton of different things like that. But when it comes to Dota 2, you really have to have played a MOBA before or be ready to research a lot of videos. So did you agree with my list? How about you leave your own top 5 down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys, bye, oh my god, you're so cute, I wanna just pinch your nipples. Oh yeah, an honorable mention can be Brawlhalla, okay, thanks, bye.